Hey guys, this is Slyman. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the total lunar eclipse that occurred on September 27th, 2015. The media really hyped this one up with the super blood moon eclipse terminology, which I find kind of funny because most people can't even tell when a super moon is occurring, and I'm one of those people. Um, but it was really great weather for this eclipse. I got really fortunate, and a lot of people across the United States got really fortunate as well. Um, I was able to see phases from totality to full moon, so that was great. The only bummer was I wasn't able to see all the phases like I was the last lunar eclipse I videoed. So if you'd like to see that, you can see that below. Um, but other than that, I'm excited to show you what I got. All right, so we start with the umbral shadow about halfway down the moon's face and the penumbral shadow approaching the bottom. You can see a sliver of light right there, and the moon will quickly approach totality from here. Uh, it had just risen over the mountains in this shot, and uh, it's about 7 p.m. mountain time on September 27th. Okay, so the moon has nearly completely moved into the umbral shadow of the Earth, and it has dimmed quite a bit. It is going to be totality in no time here, and it, it really looks quite peculiar right now, but it is definitely striking. All right, well, it is total lunar eclipse now. The umbral shadow has completely taken over the moon. It has moved completely into the Earth's shadow. And the moon's apparent size has dropped quite a bit. Its brightness is way down. And you can see um, all the stars around the moon. It's really, really neat, a beautiful copper color. Um, increase the AV here a little for you so you can pick some of that up. But you can just kind of see how subtle a lunar eclipse is. Um, that co that coppery color is just really kind of subtle and dim, but it's really beautiful at the same time. The total lunar eclipse is now over, and you can actually start to see the penumbra again as the moon moves out of the umbral shadow of the Earth. It's still very dim, uh, still looks very small in the sky, and uh, it's still really pretty. We're starting to move pretty quick now. The Earth's shadow is quickly moving off the face of the moon. And I cranked the AV here for you so you could see more of that copper color. And if you didn't get to see an eclipse or you've never seen one before, uh, that's more of what the moon looks like than a blood color. So I'm not sure why the media just says blood moon all the time. But, I mean, that's synonymous now with total lunar eclipse. But that is more of the color you'll see is this copper color. Total lunar eclipses are great and all, and I love looking at them as most people do. However, this is my absolute favorite phase of a lunar eclipse. And I cranked up the AV here for you guys so you can see this better, but obviously it's a full moon. The left side of the moon is really bright, and you can easily see the penumbral and the umbral shadow, and I think that's pretty cool. The umbral shadow is the darker shadow as you move deeper into the Earth's shadow. Obviously, it'll get darker, and the penumbral shadow is, as you start to move into the Earth's shadow, you'll start to dim just slightly. However, what I really think is amazing about this shot, not only does it show those two shadows, but ancient people knew the Earth was round when there was a lunar eclipse. They could look at this and say, this does not look like a crescent moon, something is wrong with this. And not that there's something wrong, it's just it looks completely different, and they knew that it was the Earth's shadow on the moon, and obviously you could deduce from that curvature that the Earth was round. So ancient people knew the Earth was round, and I think that's pretty amazing. And if you look at a crescent moon, you'll see lots of craters, lots of contrast, and really a beautiful view through a telescope. If you look at a lunar eclipse, you're not really going to see a whole lot of craters and a whole lot of contrast because it's a full moon. You're getting the sunlight directly at a 180 degree angle, whereas in a crescent moon, you're only getting it at about a 30 degree angle, so you're getting a lot more shadows, whereas when it's straight on, on a full moon, you don't really get too many shadows. It'd be like the sun at noon, you don't really have any shadows. So a lunar eclipse is amazing because you can actually do some real science from that. You can tell that the Earth is round, and I think that's pretty cool.
So I think it's pretty ironic that I'm posting this on Columbus Day because Christopher Columbus definitely did not discover that the Earth was round. The ancient Greeks knew 1,700 years before Columbus that the Earth was round, and it was pretty common knowledge of the day. The Greek Aristosthenes actually calculated the circumference of the Earth with a margin of error that was within 1,000 miles of the actual value using simple geometry in 200 BC. That's pretty amazing, and the Greeks were smart. You know, they just look at the moon during a lunar eclipse and say, hey, that's the Earth's shadow? That must mean the Earth's round. So they were smart, and they knew the Earth was round far, be far before Columbus. I think the funniest part of this story, though, is Christopher Columbus actually looked at Aristosthenes' calculations and said, man, these numbers are way too big. He, he definitely got this wrong. The Earth is not this big. So he used his own, which were much smaller. And had he used Aristosthenes' calculations, which were much, much more accurate, he would have actually known he landed in the New World rather than in Asia. <laughs> so it's pretty funny, I think. And I really don't know why the education system still teaches that Columbus discovered the Earth was round because it's simply not true. Well, it seems like some clouds have come in, so I won't be able to see the end of the lunar eclipse most likely, but I'm uh, really glad I was able to bring you guys some videos and some images. I really love everything lunar eclipse. I really like eclipses a lot, looking at them with my own eyes, staying up late if I have to, and being able to bring these to you guys that either you can't see it or you just want to see my opinion of them or analysis of them. So I really like making these videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you learned some science or, or some history from it or even both or thought I was just rambling. I don't know, but I like making these videos a lot for you guys and hope that you enjoyed it. So take care. I hope you guys get to see a lunar eclipse soon. I know the next one's not for a while, but uh, when it is, I hope you guys get to see it. Take care as always and have a good one.